I, I think it's laughable uh, that the blame is going to go on him. I mean, no, numero uno is K-Rod. He's done. He's baked. Uh, we've talked about this since the season began. Not the same guy. Uh, even early in the year when he was escaping, he wasn't having clean outings, and he wasn't striking people out. The The lead today, to me, shouldn't be about Brad Awesomes. Your guy goes out, blows a save on Saturday. What, are you not going to come back with him Sunday? I mean, yeah, I guess if we live in a hindsight world, you could have pulled the plug there. But I think by putting him out there Sunday, now you have no choice. Now you, you've you left no doubt. He can't pitch again in the ninth inning. He's done. Every metric that you could use suggests that K-Rod is done. And despite... Fox Sports Detroit thinking it's disrespectful to ask questions about whether Father Time has caught up with K-Rod. Earth to FSD, it's not. Every metric, fastball velocity, strikeout to nine, you know, FIP, name it. He's done. He throws an 88-and-a-half, 89-mile-an-hour fastball, and his changeup's up to 84, 85. It, it's over. Either he gets incredibly better or he never pitches again in a meaningful spot. Now, whether he's willing to take it to motion, I, I don't care. I'm not into hurt feelings. If K-Rod doesn't understand why he can't close games, then you, then you designate him, and goodbye. Now, the solution is simple, albeit not sexy. You just take the Wilson twins and Shane Green, and you got three guys to get six outs. And the seventh inning, it's going to be trouble. Your starter's got to go longer. Jordan Zimmerman's got to be better. Makes too much money not to be. Daniel Norris has got to be better. Your starter's got to go a little deeper. There are no good answers. The bullpen is no good. But getting that lineup right, scoring runs, having your starters do what they're paid to do, it'll take care of a lot of this. And surprisingly, let me be fair before everybody attacks Sully because of this. Above average bullpen. The pen had been pitching better. This truly has become a one-man problem. And I understand people are going to be upset because, oh, why do you have defined roles? Everybody should just pitch when they're neat. I get it. But a lot of these managers are the same. You want to call up? You want to fire Brad Osmus? Go for it. It's not going to happen. Doesn't matter how much you yell, I yell. The right people like him. But I really don't think it's on him. I don't have a huge problem. You roll him out there Saturday, he blows the save, you come back on Sunday and give him essentially a shot to save his career. There's five months left in the season. No, this team's not good enough to blow games and give them away. They gave games away this weekend. But to me, it's a bigger issue of, all right, K-Rod's done here. This organization's done a terrible job managing their bullpen for a decade. And what do they do to move forward? If you don't like my solution, what's yours? You don't have a choice. Shane Green becomes your setup guy along with the Wilson Twins. It's a bullpen by committee. Use the players as necessary. You don't have a closer anymore. There is no closer. There are three people with three skill sets, and you use them as you see fit on the fly. And if a certain guy is needed in the eighth because you may not get to the ninth, you got to use that guy. Everybody wants Araldis Chapman. I know he blew a save last night. Bad example. The point is everybody wants that guy. You don't have it. You're not going to have it. So you've given K-Rod as much leash as you can. It's over. And if there is a blessing, at least if your opinion is awesome is screwed up by putting him in Sunday, fine. The blessing is beyond shadow of a doubt, it's done. And at least you can try to move forward. Now, if they have the audacity to put K-Rod out there as the closer the next time this team's in a spot, then, then here's what I will tell you. Then... Either Brad Osmus is an insane person or is being told he has to do it. But as of yet, we don't know that. Any rational human being, regardless of salary, regardless of pride, regardless of respect, regardless of expectation, has to understand he can no longer close games. And I don't think all of a sudden he'll pitch better in the eighth or the seventh inning. That's why I said you don't have a seventh inning guy. The most likely scenario is you just wave goodbye to this man. He's done. He has nothing in the tank. Nothing. He's had a great career. 
this is what sucks about getting old. He's done. And I thought K-Rod was classy with his comments. I thought he took him head on. Damn near apologized to the city, the fans. I mean, look, there's no more you, There's no more the guy can do. At some point, it's just sad to watch. He's done. So you don't have Jimenez. You don't have Rondon. You got a 30-year-old closer in Toledo who no one's ever heard of. Those are your, quote, other options. You got Green and the Wilson duo. That's it. And you better figure the seventh inning out. It would probably help if starters would start pitching through it. Especially guys like Jordan Zimmerman who get paid way too much money not to. So I'll throw the number out. I know this isn't sexy. I know it's not yelling and screaming. There's nothing to yell about. It's a bad pen. We all know it. K-Rod is bad. And you know what K-Rod did in Oakland? He, he ended his career. Okay. So what, what, what else do we have? I can't offer you some amazing solution. You want to tell me Osmus committed career suicide by pitching him Sunday? Get over yourself. He made a move that I think 90% of managers in baseball would make. Your veteran closer that you pay a lot of money screwed up on Saturday. You put him out there on Sunday. He ended his career. That's it. 248-539-9797. If you want to dial in, I'd love to talk about it. It sucks. I know it sucks. I happen to believe that, look, what took place this weekend, we'll probably look back at the end of the season and be begging for those games back. You should have started this road trip 3-0 and sweeping Oakland out of their own yard. And I, I tell you, if they get off the rails, sure, they'll sell everything, and they should. But I think the lineup's too good when healthy, and I think this pitching staff is too good that they would be in it. They would be within a couple of games. And these are the moments you look at and you go, they completely handed away a playoff spot. Now, if you want to rain thunder on Ausmus, if he has the plums to roll out K-Rod at any point in time to close a game here this week, forget about it. At that point, I don't even know how you watch your team because the dude's either crazy or has no autonomy to make decisions. And neither one of those would be acceptable. But you have to believe that K-Rod no longer is your closer. And at least that would be a blessing in disguise. We know he's done. We don't need to wail about it anymore. We move on. But my only solution for you is, here are the three guys that are actually halfway decent. Figure it out. You got to get six outs. The seventh will never be comfortable. And it might help if guys who make $20 million and $30 million, it's it just, you got to get through seventh. I know I can't ask that out of Daniel Norris or Matty Boyd, but geez, Louise, I'm going to ask it out of the front end guys. And you know what? Fulmer too. More often than not, I need you to go seven. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Sully, you got anything? Because it's clear we're just in a baseball void right now. People are hurt. They're sad. They're angry. They're not in the mood. No, it's frustrating, man. I mean, it's, it's up to me. Justin Wilson needs to be the closer right now. Okay, great. Like you said, K Rod's done. Don't care. Move all, I, but to me, the mistake you're making is picking one guy. Why but, does one guy have to be the closer? No, I mean if I had to pinpoint it, that's what I'm saying. Right, but, I'm just saying use all three guys. You got to get six outs, and you just figure it out on the fly. The committee is fine. Um, what scares me though, Mike, is I'll be honest with you. I do fear Brad giving K Rod another chance. I fear that that sometime okay. this week we will see him close out okay. another game. Then he's either crazy or doesn't have the power to remove him, and neither is acceptable. I agree. But I can't scream about Brad Ausmus anymore. I've done it for almost three years now. There's nothing else I can I can say. I don't have any power to change this. When the right people like you, that's it. I know I don't think he's a good manager. But I also don't think he's a leading problem with this team. The bigger problem is one of your best ball players hasn't played this season in JD. Your young center fielder got hit in the face. You got guys like Kinsler, Iglesias, Miggy, all have been dinged up at different times. You haven't been healthy. Sometimes you've missed almost half your lineup. And your starters, look, let's just be honest about it. Haven't lived up. Haven't lived up to what you need and what you pay them for. 